Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today you're gonna go through how to download Discord Asperms and Discord Badger API for using Discord as the way to give roles, etc. So first of all, we're gonna have to download both of them. So we got, we have all leave the links in the description. We just download the Discord Asperms and the Discord Badger a like the API directly. You can re read the documentation of that. Well, Herlu Kick help you out. So after we download them, we leave them at the side. Now we need an actual server so to, to like work with. So we'll just make a server and yeah, create. We don't need to see anything else. But here in the server, we're gonna create a couple of roles. So we're gonna start with, for example, my bad, uh, LEO. And uh, uh, owner stuff like that. We we'll press on new application and we just call it uh, RP server pop. Here we go. You create it as you see here. You got the application ID and all the good stuff. We we'll leave them on the side. We bring. We leave them on the side and we bring what well, we just downloaded. So we got so we got the API. That's your API and Discord A sperms. Drag it on the side after it's extracting and we'll remove main from this. And we leave it with the API like this, and we will remove the master. And boom. first, we're gonna open both of these. Just drag them in my Visual Studio. We're gonna start configuring them. We don't need the readme or the license, or the example here of license of the readme. If you want want to give the example, you can give everything. But for me now, I will just leave it like this. Other than that. Being ready. As I'm posting, we can remove both of these when people just show on the server and it's advertising for Zap. And this is done. Okay, now we're gonna start with the uh, group member. So, group member is gonna be zero. Zero is gonna be anyone that eh, like joins the server, literally. Owner, we really quick get the uh, owner role ID. So, if you don't know how to get IDs, you go user settings. Should be advanced. Then developer mode, you enable developer mode. You go to your server, server settings, roles, and right click on owner copy ID. You go here and paste the owner ID here. We don't need both of these. We call this LEO. Do the same thing for the LEO copy ID. And paste the role there. Uh, what else? Oh, that's it. We do the same thing, set up the same thing over there. And uh, where we config? Same thing. Oops. Here we go. Config with the same stuff. It literally is like this. We don't need splash screen. You can configure this how do like how you like. The rest I will show you really quick. Go here your bot. You make add bot. Yes. You reset token so you can get valid token. Here we go. You copy your gods uh your bots thing and you paste it actually where's token? There you go. But token, you paste it there, and you get your guild ID. So we only have one guild, which is this server. We copy the server ID, and we place it here because we have only one guild for now, one server. Uh, for here you don't need to do anything. It's gonna connect directly to Discord by your API. So yeah, that's it for the setup. You don't need to do anything else technically other than going to uh, of your generator 
and you're gonna get about a bot, preferably admin if it's your server, and application commands, about that was already, I don't think you need anything else. Let's hope so. Let me copy this and run it here. So I say otherwise, try to server otherwise. Come on. Here we go, the bot that's joined server. Now, else we need. You can get that. That's it, that's it. <clears throat> uh, we may need to make the bot private. And all the intents. We need all those intents for the bot to work. Uh, admin. No. One. Yep, that's it for the server. We now all go on the main side, we copy both of these, we go to the hours server, and we go to the files, resources, and we put them in that, for example, paste them there, we open up the server, we don't need anything else here, we can close that. Now, since we're in the server, it will say directly over here Badger Perm successful connection to Guild Shadows of Dark Server. So we got the server's name directly, and this is the server ID. So, thank you for watching. If you need any help with uh, all the scripts, uh, or you have sub suggestions uh, you want me to do, some ideas. Leave them in the description uh, if you like this video. Sir, you like like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more. And thank you for being here. See you later.